Hey guys, Talo for Lava, it's Liao here from Talo no Sao. Uh, I am uh, on my own tonight, uh, not really, but uh, tonight uh, you are with me and uh, I just want to say welcome. Uh, sorry we were a little bit late, it's always Elliot's fault and he's not here to say anything about that. So let's just blame him and happy Friday to all of you. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a word of prayer. And then uh, excitingly, I've got the, the team who are going to come and we're going to speak about Tukulau and uh, our, our people that are there. We're going to call it our people because they are. And so uh, we're going to start tonight with a word of prayer and then I'll bring on the team. So, dear Lord, we just want to thank you tonight that we can come together. Thank you for all our viewers. Thank you for their support, Lord. Uh, thank you that you're with us tonight and we pray a, bl a blessing and favour over our conversations, Lord, and especially of our people over in Tokelau. I just pray, God, that you'll continue to look out for them, to protect them, and, um, Lord, to set them free. We thank you for this evening. Uh, I pray blessing on Elliot as well as for Yahweh, um, and I pray, God, that you'll be with us tonight. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. <laughs> so... Um, guys, thank you for uh, being with us tonight. Uh, I'm going to introduce, bring in the team one by one and they can introduce themselves. Uh, we have, uh, I'm going to introduce Tracy. So Tracy, if you want to come on, tell off for Tracy. Oh, hi. I couldn't hear anything <laughs> you were saying then, but hello. <laughs> oh, that's that's all right. Welcome, Tracy. We'll, we'll we'll let you know how Tracy fits into this whole equation soon. We're going to bring in Danny and Sarah. So Danny and Sarah, we we've seen them. We've I've heard their voices. <laughs> Bless you guys. Thank you for Mama. being here tonight. <laughs> and also Mahalino, uh, welcome. Uh, he is uh, in Tokelau right now. Uh, blessings, brother. Lovely to have you here tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you. There will be a delay, so this is normal. So if, if we we are talking to Mahalino and there is a delay, don't feel awkward. It's just because uh, the time lapse and everything uh, is happening. So, uh, guys, uh, where do we even start? Where do we begin on this? Uh, maybe we'll, we'll throw it over to Tracy to start, and maybe she can introduce herself. And just tell us, Tracy, what... Uh, what has been happening just in the last little while if we can just maybe catch everybody up to speed we'll go to danny and sarah so we'll start with with tracy can you hear us tracy um okay um so should do you want me to explain how i fit in first is that yes um, that'll be a lovely thank you so just... much <laughs> yep that'd be great um i'm a friend i'm friends with anna uh we met online a long time ago now back when the navy boats first uh took the vaccines to nukununu and i saw a comment that anna had made online um in an online group somewhere that said that they were being threatened with being banished from the island if uh, they didn't take 
the vaccine and I sent her a message. I, I just it was just a glance and I saw it and I said, Is this true? And she said, Yes, it is and we got chatting and my goodness, that was I think must have been last February. So it's been about sixteen months or seventeen months now of talking mm-hmm. and especially the last six months we lost contact for a period of time, obviously. There was those months where uh, they didn't have any contact. Um, but the last six months, we talk just about daily. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess I've just been like this lone warrior or thought I was a lone warrior in New Zealand trying to bring attention to the fact this family was sitting in this little dot of an island in the middle of nowhere and that they were Kiwis and um, being just completely coerced and uh, just tried to bring mm. attention to it. And, and Anna just became a really good friend, really. And so it's been both and so that's where I come from from it and what my involvement um in it is I guess but Mm. um well lately it's just been trying to get more and more ears to listen and um get the story out there and heard more um so uh for us we've managed to bring together a group of people now with Danny and Sarah and um it's kind of New Zealand, and I, I think obviously they got updates, but between Samoa and New Zealand and Tokelau mm. and, um, you know, every, we've got a multi, whole multinational team happening. Um, with the interviews that Chantal and Liz have been doing, they've been putting out calls for legal help, and um, they've been had a, a number of people come in and make offers, which is really fantastic. I talked to somebody um, this afternoon who uh, is already familiar. He, I believe he's um, already connected last year and had taken some affidavits from um, a couple of the people who are on a tafu. Um, and so right. he's keen to um, jump in. Yeah, yeah. So he's... Yes. Um, he's. I've just sent him all the background material, really, and he's uh, sure. going to touch base again tomorrow. Mm. Um uh, yeah, we're starting a fundraising campaign, I guess, to really, um, Kiwis are just so angry. Like, there's just, you can see it online and you'll see it everywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah. I saw on Jacinda Ardern's page today, she's made a post about Nui, uh and about how her family spent all this lovely time there and it's a bit of a puff piece. And if you read the comments, they're all... Um, Screaming about Tokelau. <laughs> yeah. There's just, just yeah, yeah heaps wow. of Kiwis falling out. And so that's really, yeah, really, it's really amazing. It shows you um, how quickly it's spread. I think that the poor moderators had a job today keeping it quiet. If you have a look on it, it's got so many hidden comments, it's ridiculous. But anyway, it's good. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. Uh, Tracy, um, Tracy, I, there's two things that have come out from this that are, are listening to you. One is that you have been a, a backbone to a lot of what's been happening. And thank you. Thank you for what you are doing, you know, absolutely sort of just behind the scenes. I've seen uh, even the, the work that you've done in regards to each of these stories, which hopefully will continue to put out there because these are real people. These aren't just stats you know and the second thing is is you felt like you were alone and that's what they want you to be is to feel like you're alone and you you know you're not alone each of us have a part that we we play and we bring a piece of that uh puzzle to the table to fit in with everybody else so thank you for what you're doing at the moment Tracy we're going to continue to journey together and, and and get this story out um, Anna's and uh, Mahelino's and the rest of the crew. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, no, we're just going to go awesome. down to uh, Danny and Sarah and then we'll come over to Mahalino. Uh, Danny and Sarah, uh, tell us where, uh, from your perspective, you're in Australia at the moment. You live in Australia. Uh, tell us yeah. where it's at. What's it, what's it going? How's it going for you there? Yeah, look, uh, hi, Leo. Uh, just uh, just uh, in regards to how we fit in, for those that haven't heard uh, our story before, in regards to uh, I was actually born in Tokelau in the same island where uh, Mahelino's on. Actually, Mahelino's my my mum's first cousin, so that's interesting. <laughs> but uh, but look, uh, yeah, well, 
we're, we're so thankful that you know that uh, Talano Sal has come on board and with the Daily Examiner to expose uh, the rubbish that's happening in Tokelau, and uh, we're definitely not happy happy with what's happening, but uh, Even we're, in Tahu, yeah. And, yeah, but we're not, uh, but we're really wanting change. Honey, you want to say something? Yeah. Um... Yeah, we got contacted um, when the Navy, before the Navy brought over the, um, when they first heard about the Navy bringing over the Pfizer. And so that's when we sort of came on board. But it's been um, it's been quite a journey. Um, but it's been an amazing journey too because, you know, I really believe that um, something good is going to come out of this. You know, at the end of the day, I really believe that there's going to be a breakthrough for these guys. But um yeah, look, I mean, even though the ones in Atahu are now off house arrest or tunua, whatever they call it, um, I, you know, they've still got pretty heavy restrictions. And even out of their words, they might as well still be on house arrest with the restrictions mm. that they have. So, you know, we're still in this for the long run. And, um, yeah, it's and, – and I get totally get what Tracy says. It was – it has been – you did feel like you're the only ones, you know. It was like for ages, yeah, it felt like nobody believed us. Nobody wanted to take yeah. it on board. We got so many accusations. Mm-hmm. And then I think when um, Tala, uh, Talanoa Sa'o took it on, mm-hmm. um, it was just like the springboard for um, what's happening now, you know. So we're really grateful, really grateful. And plus the fact that you guys have that real understanding culturally um yeah. of Pacifica so um it, it's been a, a I think you guys were the best ones to be the springboard you know mm. for this being launched and we're just seeing a momentum hallelujah mm. so we're really excited yeah. with what um God is doing yeah oh that's great thank you both of you uh do you know Tanamo Sao this is this is what our heart has been from the beginning. Uh, both Ali and myself and Foyabe is is our Pacifica people speaking in truth mm-hmm. because, you know, we, we, we always start with centering even our program and God, knowing that, you know, Jesus came as the way, the truth, and the life. And so That's when well. the truth is spoken, we actually s- we're standing in him. So I thank you both. Uh, Mahaleno, I know you are actually in it right now and our hearts go out to you and we honor you for for your voice for continuing mm-hmm. to speak out so we're just going to give you this little platform you know let us know what what how it's going there you know sh- share your heart you know however you know you're feeling <laughs> right now we, we need to know we're here so i'll just give you the platform to speak Thank you. Uh, now, first of all, um, I'd like to thank you and your crew, we Hawaii and, and Elliot. You, you were one of the first to to break our story, and we're really grateful. Um, Danny and Sarah, you were there from the start. And we're, we owe you, you guys. Um, but our, um, our ongoing drama here is, is um, ticking along the, 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 um, the situation remains the same, but um, we're not down. We're, we're always um, uh, keeping our spirits high and, um, yeah, praying. We're going to know. And it's, it's been good. Uh, it's... Lately, the last couple of weeks, it's been um, on the go, actually. Um, a few incidents happening. Um, yeah, we, we told our story when 
I was with the Tapulenga on Monday. Um, exactly how we saw it. Um, there was disbelief, I think. There's a general feeling in the village that these incidents didn't happen. But that's okay. Um, we're, 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 we're keeping our spirits high. Um, and um, we're, we're still here. <laughs> mm. Is is there anything that we can uh, do from here? Uh, can we? Uh, well, well, you know, absolutely, we should be praying for you. But is there anything else that we can continue to do? I know I'll give Tracy uh, a, a couple of minutes after uh, you speak. But is there any way we can help encourage you? I know you're standing strong, but it's not easy, from what I can hear. Leo, um, Anna and and Delhi are right here. You're, yeah. you're listening, but Leo, you you already are. You are doing okay. exactly what we need you to do. Okay. So, uh, big ups to you and your crew. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I'm I'm just going to pass it over to Tracy just for a little bit. On what's happened up to up to the last uh, is it week, Tracy? Could you just speak into uh, what's happened with uh, with school? Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, my understanding, and I'm sure Matalino can correct me if, if I'm wrong. Um, are you hearing me? Okay. Yes, that's fine. Okay, um, was uh, that, that Mahalino went to see the council earlier in the week, I believe, um, yep. and I'm not my own self 100% clear what happened there, so I can't speak to that, but I think on coming from that, uh, Gypsy, their daughter, received a, a letter or a notification from the Ministry of Ed or the Director of Education on Tokelau uh, taking her computer and her school computer and her school modem um, away from her, saying that because she has used um, the school data and the school computer for spreading, um, you know, for for speaking out, basically. Um, there is a letter that we've she sent through that I can I can read what it says, or if you can put it up, whichever. I'll just bring it. Sorry, I should have had it up in front of me. <laughs> um, this is what it actually says. Uh, I am saddened to learn of some of your internet messaging that may have not been respectful as well as being harmful to others. I cannot facilitate such harmful messaging by making data available to you and the laptop. Unfortunately, that means I am going to withdraw the data support and ask for the laptop to be returned. You may still continue with your enrolment, and but obviously without a laptop and data and a modem. So that's um, that's just happened, which is uh, pretty awful. Given you know, Gypsy's just turned fifteen, and um, that just feels like major punishment. But anyway, um, we've put a call out to the troops and. Um, I think that we're going to, um, I don't know, see what we can do, see if we can come up with a solution from this end and maybe fundraise yeah. for a, a laptop or um, data or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's what the situation is. Wow. Yeah, so they have basically um, taken away. That. Um, right. That's where it's at as far as I understand. Yeah. So... Um, so the word harmful taking seems away to, your education. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, no, I'm just saying the word harmful seems to be uh, a very well used word 
in, in so many different ways. And we look at this and we say, there's a 15-year-old girl who had the courage, the courage to stand up and, and speak. And here is her, this is the response they get, that they have facilitated harmful, a harmful message. You know, this is the kind of thing that they are, are saying now. So w what can we do here in New Zealand? We can help rally together, uh, you know, maybe have uh, a, la a laptop uh, sent out to them. You know, I mean, you know, that, that, would, be the, that would be the temporary mm -hmm. solution. But we do need to pray that they are released properly and, mm -hmm. and be given uh, the dignity that they deserve because this is absolute madness and we have been watching this unfold for the last year. It is absolute madness and we will want nothing less than an apology. Yes. You know, because this is, this is what we've come to is that we're watching our, our, our fellow brothers and sisters suffering when it's absolutely not necessary. So, you know, I... You know, Danny and Sarah, you've watched it too. It's been heartbreaking to not even be able to get there. You know, maybe we'll pray for a yacht <laughs> to pick all of us up, pick all of us up and go straight there. You know, My bring all the supplies. Off. He did. And get, and get arrested by the Tokalan police. <laughs> Wait, now that's another story. How many are there? There, uh, they, Is there two left? Oh, yeah, are, are they, is that a legit? Is that legit uh, recruiting? Uh, took a long stop. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Wait, I took a long as big as Sam wants? Uh, maybe bigger. Oh, okay, some, of half, some, <laughs> some of them are half Sam <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, yeah, so there's people here that are asking is there a PO box address for sending support? Uh, I think we've lost Tracy, but Tracy, is there a, an account that we can uh, help put some uh, funds into? Or a, there's somebody here asking for a PO box address for sending support. Uh, is there a way we can help them in this way? Yes. Uh, Yes, there is. Um, shall I put the details into the comments? Is that a good way? We've got a, a New Zealand bank yeah, account. That'd be perfect. Um, that is receiving Thank you. funds. And what we're going to do is then move um, the donations that come through there for data and for um, help to go over to Kingdom to Danny and Sarah. And then from there, they'll distribute it um, to okay. different families. So that's, that's the plan. So um, okay. that way we can receive donations in New Zealand and Australia. So there's a bank account sure. in Australia um, for Kingdom Ministries as well. Um, oh, so, perfect. yeah, hopefully we can have people out from – and oh, so should I put it in the comments? Is that the right thing to do? Um, I, think, uh, I think Elliot will do it. I think he can put that up in the comments. I think he's got it uh, where we can help uh, – um, you know, where some people can help send that to. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, our, so, yeah. Sorry, Sarah. I was just saying ours is a missions account for our church too. So it's it's a very legit account. So we usually send money from there to Tokelau yeah. anyway. Um, but the other thing with posting, the question about posting is um, we have sent stuff over there, but it goes from here to New Zealand, then over to, because um, you've got to send it by ship. It goes to some Samoa, and then someone we need to contact. Who we do have some contacts, like we've got Julian, Julie's mum, Pastor Julie's mum, that's oh, yeah. in Samoa that could possibly yeah. collect it and send it through on to Nukunonu uh, Natahu. Uh, so, and just with the, the laptop. So, with Julie and Ty's daughter, uh, the oldest girl, she's fourteen, and they ended up putting them into, or both her and her twin brother, they ended up putting them into. Um, like homeschool, school online. So they do all their studies online. And so we were able to send money over for a laptop for them. So if 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 Maha, if um Gypsy can get a if we can get Gypsy a laptop, then maybe sure. that's the better option to do school. Oh maybe you know, that's what we need online, to do. Then. That's just an option. Yeah. 
uh, do you, uh, each of you, just have a just a couple more words um, before we wrap this up? I've just got an, another guest who's going to come in and speak about someone who is in a, a similar position here in New Zealand. So yeah. um, I'll just give you each a couple of minutes if you want to just, uh, yeah, just wrap up just in regards to Tukulau or if there's anything we can do. Prayer is a really good one. You want Mark Helena to go first? Because he's... Yes. <coughs> yeah, thank you. Um, before I forget, um, Danny and Sarah, we received your your parcel. Uh, we're very grateful, especially um, our children here. Um, but hearing that much support um, gathering from people we don't even know around uh, New Zealand and Australia is is very heartwarming. Um, mm. it, it does help to to know that at least people are are out there and and supporting Amen. spiritually as well as uh, supporting um, with gifts. We're really grateful for that. Thank you very much. Mm, bless you. Uh, and Tracy as well. <laughs> Tracy, you need to get some her some rest. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, God Mahalilo. bless you guys. That's um Yeah. <laughs> God bless everybody. You know, God's, it's been a divine work bringing this all together. There's no question that it's God's weaving, um, not ours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of where I'll finish. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, to each of you. Uh, Sarah, did you want to say anything? <laughs> give you the last word. <laughs> oh, I might just give it to this man over here. I want to pray. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. Love that. Thank Father, you. we just uh, want to thank you that we can agree together, knowing that your word says we're two or three, agree on the same thing, it shall be as they agree. And Lord, we want to agree mm -hmm. together that your plans and your purposes for Nukunonu, Atahu, and Hakaho will be outworked for your glory. Mm -hmm. And Lord God, that the name of Jesus will be lifted high. Yeah. And it won't be so much about religion, but it would be about your mighty God and your provision for your people in the name of Jesus. Release your blessing on each and every person that gives in to your kingdom and gives in to this uh, cause. And, uh, Lord, we even call finances in for the daily examiner in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. We just want to speak release into their financial uh, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we speak the blessing. Lord, let mm. there be a financial blessing all around because that's who you are and that's who we believe you to be. Yeah. You're, you're our God. You're our provider. And we thank you for who you are in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 <laughs> thank you so much to each Amen. of you for being part of uh, Talano Sa'o tonight. Uh, we will definitely keep in touch and we'll get together again awesome. and uh, we'll, we'll see how the Lord works us. <laughs> so, can, uh, I, bless can I just you give a shout out to... Uh, Give a shout out to Fawai and uh, and to Elliot before we go. Ja! Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You. Bless you. <clears throat> Have a good evening. God bless. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, so I think you know that was uh, that was uh, Tukalau, and um, so now we're going to bring on Danielle. Uh, you might, some of you might not know her, but she has been a driving force actually behind uh, Graham, what has been happening with Graham Phillip. So uh, welcome, Danielle. Lovely Thank to you. have you here. Lovely, Lovely to have you here. here. Thank you, Leo. Uh, for yeah, so just uh, tell us where, where, where things are at right now. So uh, some people might not actually know about Graham. So if you wouldn't mind just uh, speaking into that for now okay. and what part that you play in this, yeah. Okay, so um, Graham, um, 
and his wife, Marta, they're um, very good friends um, of mine. Graham was very outspoken um, for a, a long time against the narrative, um, COVID-19 and all that sort of thing. Um, on the 8th of December, he was arrested and taken away. And he's been in jail ever since. He hasn't really had um, due process. Um, he's still um, waiting. Oh, he's still on, on remand, basically. Um, yeah, and it's been nearly eight months. And yeah, um, what can I say? He's, yeah. Um, it's been a very difficult road for... For both it him been, and Marta. It's been, been awful, the, just the, the treatment he's receiving in jail and just everything that's happened. Um, Marta, they've not been able to see one another. Uh, just, just the whole way that all of this has gone, it's, yeah, it's just not the New Zealand that, um, that we know. And, yeah, so the reason I'm um, sort of helping them out is because they've got dear friends and, yeah. I don't know what to say, Leo. It's just yeah, and not so did he, situation. And... There was something that happened today with Marta. So the charges were willful damage. To, um, to start with, it was to start with. Damage. Yeah, and then yeah. it went to sabotage, which yes. I'm not sure whether they've, they've stuck with that, but uh, yeah. So sabotage hasn't been used since the beginning of the 19th century. You know, so it's it's quite a a huge, uh, yeah, it's a huge charge. We we can't actually say much more about it because it's it's a suppression order on it. Yes. So, but we can talk about the things that are happening, uh, in regards to his case. And uh, today, um, uh, if Ali, you can put up the 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 photo of um what came in today was. She received, was it the letters returned or was it the letters to well, her? It was um, letters that um, to her, but before that, um, they're like, they've, like I say, they haven't seen one another for eight, nearly eight months now. The only time she's, Marta's seen Graham was at the um, last bail hearing, which is, you know, across the courtroom and uh, on a screen. And um, yeah, they haven't. They haven't spoken, well, haven't seen each other. Um, they finally managed to get a um, Zoom call organised. So they were supposed to, this morning, at 9 o'clock this morning, there was a, a Zoom call scheduled, which had taken all this time to, um, you know, to get for him. And um, that was cancelled all of a sudden at late notice. So there wasn't any reason given. So... Um, and then Marta comes home tonight to a letterbox full of letters, letters dated back to the 2nd of June. So they've been, you know, it's not, I mean, I guess in a way we can say we're, we're lucky that they actually arrived because a lot of his letters haven't been, and the same with any letters sent to him quite often there. I think we've... Uh... We've kind of uh, lost um, Danielle, but these are the letters that have been sent. Sorry, to... are you still oh, there? there? You go. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, can yeah, you still here. hear me? Because yes. We... Yeah, sorry, our connection isn't great here. So, so yeah, keep going with the, with the yeah, letters. So, uh, yeah, my, oh, okay, so the letters, um, yeah, I mean, that they were in a letterbox this morning. There were seven letters that he sent it from the 2nd of um, June. And it's been weeks and weeks now. And, um, yeah, it was suddenly they arrived in their letterbox. So, like, his letters have been, well, either, um, you know, sometimes they don't arrive at all. and But they're being, it takes months, basically, for letters to arrive. She's um, now able to speak to him a little bit more often. In the beginning, the first few months, uh, Marta was only able to speak like maybe five minutes a week. 
That's right. She's so that. yeah, there was just no no visits <clears throat> no, because of the vaccine mandates. Um, I think last week the mandates were lifted. Yes, they were. But, but Marta is still unable for some reason in Spring Hill. I don't know whether it's just Paul Graham or whether this is for Spring Hill Prison. Um, but he's not allowed to receive any visitors still. So they were really looking forward to the Zoom call and um, Marta went to work early this morning to try and, because she starts, this this call was scheduled for nine o'clock this morning. Um, so she made sure she got to work really early so that she could set everything up so she could have time with Graham. And yeah. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't happen. Just canceled at the last minute and it's just, it's just absolutely hideous what's happening to this couple. It's, yeah. I just have you no know, words to be honest, Leo. It's yeah. just But it needs to be it needs to be shared and it needs to be spoken about because no matter what the rumors that are going around, it can happen to any one of us. This yes. is this is the thing is that any one of us uh, could be in this situation. And uh, when I I've spoken to Marta uh, on a, a number of occasions, yes, and she told me that she would get a phone call five to ten minutes a week we're talking about oh, like yes uh, um, imagine that in your own family like if you were oh. separated from your husband and this was a kind of poor behavior that oh. is happening in New Zealand <laughs> I'm yes. just like this yeah. is not the New Zealand that we we, no. we grew up in no. and and no. it needs to be talked about we we know that this is the this is the third time that he has his bail has been denied, mm -hmm. denied, and mm -hmm. his trial is not until May 2023. Mm. So he was imprisoned in 2021. The one on the 8th of December. <clears throat> yep. And his court case is not till 2023. Like, I mean, there there was someone who had. I heard from a very credible source that yeah. there was someone who did the same thing up north mm. and he went to home detention straight away. Yeah. So right. yeah. what is this? If if you're not saying he's not a political prisoner, then what mm. is it? Yeah, I, I get that you don't right. don't break the law, of course, but yeah. you know, during lockdown everyone was frustrated about what was happening. Mm. And um yeah. you know what is this then if if it's not the way the, that he's been treated the, exactly. that he was in high security for so long just mm -hmm. doesn't make sense no it doesn't make sense no. uh, we are in New Zealand we're supposed to be civilized here and he's not been treated that in fact the whole letter thing it's psychological it's actually playing with both of their minds you know they're, they're a right. strong yeah. married couple who have not been able to actually even video call each other mm. for this whole eight months. Put, put yourself yeah. in their shoes and then you come and tell me how 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 it would feel because I, I just I can't I can't let this one go. This no. this particular it just seems so unjust, you know, yeah. that we have ram raids, we have gun shootings, we have violence that is just so hideous. And have we found out any of their, have any of them gone to court? Ha, has no. there been anyone arrested? And, you know, we've, we've hardly heard any of these cases mm. being brought forward. Mm. What is going on? Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. This is, um, it's just unbelievable. Graham has never been in trouble with the police before. He's, he's not a violent man. Um, there's no way he should have been put in high security. And at that time, when he was put in high security, um, the charge was apparently, I can't say too much about the charges because yeah, obviously you know right. that's still <laughs> But it was willful damage and basically, yeah, put in, in high security. And it took a lot of, um, you know, written to every politician that you can think of and a lot of pushing. And we finally, it wasn't until be threatened to go public that they put him back in low security so at least now we know he is in low security and you know the conditions are a little bit 
he's not, not in um, imminent danger anymore. They, um, he's now in his own cell where um, he's got um, not to be double bunked now on his, so, so he's, at least we know he's safe. Many mm. times he's been put in, in positions where he actually feared for his, his, his life. You know, yeah. it was almost like they were trying to purposely get him killed. I mean, the, um, yeah, so at least now he is in, in low security. But in saying that, um, the situation within the prison is just, from what I'm hearing, it's just um, terrible. They are on low staff. There's a lot of staff away sick. Um, obviously, with the mandates, I imagine that a lot of them walked out. So all the programs that they now have felt they're supposed to be running, like uh, any rehabilitation, um, the library, uh, just all sorts. It's not, none of that is happening. Apparently, they're in their cells for 23 hours a day. And, you know, the people, yeah, they, they just, apparently the suicides and attempted suicides are um, through the roof. And it's just... It's a ticking time bomb in there, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you know? I, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I just wanted to Sorry. say that um, that I I actually spoke to a counsellor down there in Taupo uh, Council, who is wanting to come on uh, the Daily Examiner to speak about a few issues, but. Uh, oh. Even about Graham, yeah. So I will speak to you about oh, wow. that. Yeah. So oh, that was a uh, very encouraging that there oh, it is wow. out there and that people actually yeah. um, have heard Graham's story and yeah. Yeah. want to uh, be able to uh, speak out about it. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so yeah. That's, so that's what needs to happen. It needs yeah. to this just needs to be shared. Yeah. Because that's this has awesome. been shared with. Uh, these letters that have gone out to the Human Rights Commission, has mm. gone out to the different uh, members of parliament, to yep. to council, and it's crickets, you know. I know, yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to, to pick this up or to speak about this or to yeah. have anything to do with it. And, and like yet I this say, is a human um, being. Yeah, I know. But it was the same with them and being. I know that if we uh, if we hadn't taken this public, um, he would have still been in high security. And I have no doubt at all about that. And just you know, things like food being withheld. That he, when we saw him at the trial um, a couple of weeks ago, I mean, we were in shock. Basically, when we saw him, he lost weight. His you know unkept. His hair was long. Um, is this New Zealand? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's just Matt is saying that Spring Hill is a high security prison, so he's in a low security part of the high security prison. And so I have to tell you, I have prison. driven down there. <laughs> it's quite eerie. <laughs> it's it's a huge space, and it just feels like people are watching you from up there. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, sorry. Yeah, the the internet's quite uh, shocking in Taupo. Might, that that might be your next thing that you need to take to council. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well, with me, we're rural as well, so <clears throat> we always have a few problems with the internet. Need. Can you hear me still? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can still hear you. But it's it's just good to have this conversation because uh, we need to keep fighting for him. And I know you've had a few garage sales. You've had a, uh, you know, just a few fundraisers to help with uh, the lawyers' yeah. uh, fees. Uh, yeah. You still you have a page, um, yes. free yeah. Graham Philip. Yeah, free Graham it. Philip on Facebook, and this one on Telegram as well. So that's um, yeah, that's two pages there. We're also looking at um maybe organising a protest outside um, Spring Hill Prison. So we're just yes. um, talking about that at the moment and hopefully yeah. be able to get something sorted there. And, yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we can and support, support both Marta and, and Graham and get them yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Because, you know, they uh, – yeah, so there's a free Graham Phillip uh, page that you can uh, – 
you know, you can sign up to and just get some updates. And today, when I saw those letters, I just thought, you know, I, could, I really need to have you on the show tonight. Any questions? Ask me. Um, to speak about what's happened. That was that was Marta, by the way. I didn't invite yeah. Marta because, you know, it is an emotional time for her. And there will be a time, you know, when, when she can speak. <laughs> but that's Graham there. Yeah. And uh, he's got a lovely sign, which all of us like. <laughs> Yeah. About, I, I was even with the with I don't know normal normies. I say, ah, oh, you know, yeah. this, the past two years with the scandemic. I'm like, no, no, I'm yeah. sorry, pandemic. <laughs> uh, Michael says, speak on my platform. I will make sure I have your back. Sounds like a plan, Michael. <laughs> we'll speak about Graham. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's Graham there. Uh, he always sort of took the mickey out of things. I think it was quite clever, actually. Yeah. Uh, he, wore, um, he wore a vest, didn't he? He also wore a, uh, a, a, was it a life jacket, which I think is yes. great. Danny and Sarah said they're praying for him. And I'm sure there's oh. lots of people throughout uh, New Zealand that are praying uh, for him. Uh, are there any uh, last uh, words you want to say? Uh, Danielle, in regards to them, uh, what can we do? Yeah, we've got the your page. We've got uh, different ways that you can donate to the cause. Was there anything else? Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess just raising awareness and sharing a story, and um, we appreciate your prayers as well. Um, Graham is a um, devout Christian, and as is Marta, and yeah, any. Prayers and yeah, just continued support. And I just want to, I want to thank you, Liel, and the Daily Examiner for everything that you guys are doing. Um, I actually heard after the prayer meeting we had, I actually spoke to Graham, and he said something um, very awesome had come out of that. That well, which is actually cancelled today, but apparently because I've been asking, we've been trying to get these. Um, video calls sorted out um, for the last eight months nearly and he said after that prayer meeting the next morning um, it was approved to have a, a video call so that was really great news but then unfortunately oh, maybe this morning to... it was cancelled so yeah we just need to we keep praying, keep praying so that they can, um, <laughs> yeah yeah but, um, yeah no he's Really very grateful to everybody, and as is Marta, they're both, um, yeah, so grateful for all the love and the support, getting heaps of messages from people. I actually think it might be a really good idea maybe if people wanted to help and maybe write to him. Um, they could send him, you know, cards or something to the to the prison. Maybe that's um, that would be a really good way to help. Um, yeah, just sharing so, story I guess and, and uh so how do we do that do we just find out the address for Spring Hill um and um, send him yeah, cards I'll actually put something I'll put something on the Facebook page to would you yeah yeah we can I'll inundate the prison with cards for him that how would amazing awesome. would that be yeah that would be really cool yeah yeah no that would be I think that um really lifts his spirits when he gets you know i mean hopefully they arrive i can't guarantee that because it seems to be um you know he seems to be a bit of a target and yeah um i, I just want to share with everybody uh what happened just with the prison officer I, i'm not sure if you've heard the story but uh a friend and i went to uh, to go down to hamilton uh court and we stopped off at uh, BP to get a coffee and we were standing in line and there was a guy in front of us and we kind of looked at him he looked at he had, he had a, a prison officer's uniform so we kind of tapped his shoulder and I was like excuse me are you at Spring Hill and he said yes actually I am and I said do you know Graham Phillip <laughs> and he says well actually I do and we were like oh my goodness we're going down to support him and would you be able to tell him that there are people that love him and would you be able to pass that on to him? And, you know, just, just, we were just so happy that he was, you know, that he was there, like just at that moment. And then while we were there at the court, I think 
I think Marta had a phone call from him to say that uh, that the prison officer had gone to Graham and said, I met these two ladies who who said that they were, you know, there to encourage you and to say that, you know, we were there for you. Uh, I, I just thought it was it had to be a God moment. Yeah, sure. Sure was. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and I just, I'm just saying that, you know, these kind of, you know, these God moments are really important. Uh, yeah. Tim's just asking if Graham's allowed visitors. So obviously if Marta's not allowed, then. Yeah, I don't think he is, unfortunately. Yeah. And but we can inquire. Can... <laughs> There's no yeah, reason why people can't us, inquire. If all of us got on the phone and said uh, Graham's yep. a visit, then, um, yeah, maybe something Maybe that's what I'll do. I, I, I just don't know why, because the mandates were lifted, so they can't really, um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense why you wouldn't be allowed to have any okay. visitors. Mm. So, you know, get on the phone, ring Spring Hill, and say to them, is it possible for us to come and visit Graham Phillip? Yeah, that just would be awesome. I think I might do it this week as well. Yeah. I'll say, yeah. can, I, can I make a time to come and visit? I'd like yeah. to bring a guitar and sing to him. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have I have worked in prisons, uh, oh, just as pr prison ministry. Yeah, to the oh, women's wow. prison. Yeah. yeah, I would take in my guitar and just as you know, just sing to them, and yeah, uh, yeah it's not, something about the love of God and music. Awesome. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll take my guitar. I'll just say to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll ring them and say, uh, <clears throat> "The current yeah. entertainer of the week." <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, so ring them, uh, write some letters, cards, get your children to write cards. Yeah. You just say, Look, there's oh, a, there's a man who's uh, just wanting some encouragement. That's all you need to say to them. And if you can just write, Dear Graham, and write a word of encouragement to them, you know, I, I did that for a whole lot bunch of people in a rest home. I just gave a wow. school and I said to them, These are their first names. And so they just had, a, you know, hundreds of cards to them that really um, touched so their cool. hearts. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, really uh, cool. thank you so much, Danielle, for uh, coming on and spending some time with us and to, you know, speak on behalf of Marsha and Graham. We will continue to pray for him. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you for Really appreciate it. Really appreciate your time, Leo, and everything you guys are doing. Just, um, God bless you and your team and everybody yeah. <laughs> here. Just want to say thank you to, to all the supporters and yeah, just um, it's really encouraging the amount of people that are messaging us and you know that have actually got Graham's back. You know, regardless of whether you know what he has or hasn't done, we don't know, and that's that's what we're fighting for. It's just um, yeah. you know some transparency and some a fair trial and due process. And yeah, just uh, yeah, yeah, that's so. good. Well, thank you for what you're doing, to Dania. All right, oh, bless well. you. All right, thank you. <laughs> good night. So, that is um, Talon or Sa'o for tonight, uh, guys. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I don't get to do this very often, in fact, I don't think I've done it at, at all. And there's lots of things I'd love to talk about, but. Actually, I'm, my, I'm actually starting to lose my voice. <laughs> I always talk too much. But anyway, um, look, guys, thank you for uh, being with us tonight. Thank you for speaking out. Thank you for asking about how you can uh, help. Because sometimes uh, sometimes we we watch things and we go, but what can we do? What can we do? What what difference can we make? And we've, we've got lots of ways that we can make a difference. Uh, you can write a letter. Uh, write cards, get your children to write cards. Uh, you can ring them and ask them if you can uh, go in and visit. Uh, there's lots of ways that we can do things. Uh, so I am going to, since I'm the only one here left, I'm going to pray and uh, then we will uh, finish tonight's Talon or Sa'o. Lord, I just want to thank you again for incredible people. Thank you for the, the those who are fighting for the people in Tokelau. I thank you for those who are fighting on behalf of Graham Phillip. Uh, Lord, we, we need justice, and may your justice flow like a river. Uh, Lord, we ask that you intervene and that you step in 
and that you, your blessing and your favor will be on everyone that is watching. I pray that uh, you'll bless Foyabai and Elliot and the Daily Examiner team and until we meet again. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Ka kito anō, everybody, and thank you for being with us tonight on Talon Good night, and God bless you.